There's one thing about security levels that is important to remember. You should avoid setting the same security level on more than one interface if you do not have any intention of doing so. What happens if you set the same security level on two or more interfaces in the firewall? Take this topology. We have four interfaces. We have zero, which is probably internet. We have 100, which is our internal network. We have two DM sets, and we have set the same security level of 50 on both of these. The rules about higher to lower that we talked about in the earlier movie still applies. That means that traffic from 50 to zero is allowed. Traffic from 100 to 50 is allowed. Traffic from 100 to zero is allowed, while traffic in the opposite directions are blocked. As soon as we set the same security level on more than one interface, there is a limitation that says that traffic between two interfaces with the same security levels is automatically blocked and not allowed. This is a limitation. Sometimes Cisco calls this a feature because if there is a situation where you want to avoid getting traffic between two interfaces, in early days, Cisco recommended that you should set the same security level on both of these interfaces. In this situation, we cannot get traffic from 50 to 50 because of this built-in feature slash limitation. The definition is that traffic between two interfaces with the same security level is automatically blocked, and you cannot allow that with the access list. doesn't matter how many access lists you apply on the interfaces, it will still be blocked. Also, if traffic comes in on one interface and returns back out on the same interface again, which is sometimes called hairpinning, this is also not allowed because of the same rule. Because traffic in this example comes in on the interface with security level zero and leaves out on the interface with security level zero. So the same security level rule applies. One example of this hairpinning is if you have a VPN client on the internet that connects to the firewall and reaches internet via the tunnels. So that comes in encrypted traffic to the firewall and it gets decrypted and gets out on the internet again. So it turns on the same interface again. That is not allowed by default. And in order to disable these two limitations, there are two commands that we could apply. First of all, for traffic between two different interfaces with the same security level, if we want that traffic to be allowed, we add a global command to the configuration. The configuration command is same dash security permit inter dash interface. Same security permit inter interface. If you add this command to the configuration, you will be able to get traffic between those two interfaces. You still need to apply access list as we will see in later movies, but without this command, the traffic will just be silently blocked. Also for hairpinning traffic that comes in on one interface and goes out on the same interface again, we have a similar command. It's very similar actually. The command is same security permit intra interface. Same security permit intra interface for traffic that comes in on one interface and goes out on the same again. And permit inter interface for traffic that goes between two different interfaces with the same security level. My recommendation is that you always add these two commands to your configuration initially. Because if you do that, you will avoid a lot of headaches and troubleshooting problems. Because what happens sooner or later when you get two interfaces with the same security level or hairpin traffic, and you have not added these commands, is that the traffic will be silently dropped and you will have no clues in the logs or debugs about what's happening. So it's quite tricky to troubleshoot this. Therefore, I recommend you to always add these two commands, unless you, by purpose, need to use this feature to block traffic between interfaces with same security level. In 95% of all cases, at least, I would say add these two commands. 